Hi, I'm Bailey Gatiss. And I'm Chris Gawardy. Today we'll be updating you on all of the Wilkes Fall Athletic Contests. To wrap up sports, we will be showing a quick highlight reel of the top plays from this week. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to the first segment of Sports Now. I'm Bailey Gatiss, the Sports Director. And I'm Chris, Chris Gawardy, her co-anchor. Chris, it's great to have you back on the show this year. I'm really looking forward to working with you. Oh, thank you, Bailey. It is always great to be here. <laughs> Let's get things started. So fall sports have started, and the football team is sitting at a record of 2-1. and one. In their most recent game, Wilkes fell to Lebanon Valley College 24-19. The team is currently being led by sophomore QB Isaiah Rodriguez. On the season so far, Rodriguez has tossed seven touchdowns to go along with no interceptions this season. The future is bright for the Colonels, and we are looking forward to seeing what this team will continue to do throughout the year. Be sure to join the football team this week at the homecoming game on Saturday with a noon kickoff time. Away from football, the women's soccer team is 2-5-1 and, and plays tomorrow at Marywood University. The men's soccer team is 3-4-1 and one on the season and will be playing tonight at the University of Scranton. Both teams will play on homecoming, kicking things off at 1 and 3-30. Volleyball, field hockey, cross country, tennis, and golf matches have also all commenced. You can check out all the statistics and schedules online at the link right at the bottom of your screen. Be sure to follow all of your favorite colonels in our athletic journeys. Now, here's some of the top sports highlights from this week. So right here on the pitch, Matthew Horadell took the free kick down to Seth Marsteller, who headed the ball to call Colin Schulmeister for a quick shot right in the corner of the net. And then right here, Wilkes defense set up perfectly to block a field goal attempt in their most recent game against LVC. They set up for the kick. And boom, perfect block. So right here, Bridget Rosenfield made the goal with a flawless setup by Morgan Millard right after the foul on the Cougars. In this moment, Isaiah Rodriguez threw a deep pass to Zane Grover for an advancement against the Flying Dutchman to change the score. Right here, Owen Brush sets up Xavier Guerrero perfectly in the 20th minute to put the Colonels up 2 to nothing against Keystone College. And then in this play, Rodriguez connects with Zane Grover for 56 yards for his first touchdown against LVC. In this play, Will Wagstaff got the third and final goal for the Colonels as he received the pass from Cameron Feister. Rodriguez escapes the LVC defense to hit Jimmy Johnson for another touchdown in their game against LVC. And finally, Nicole Fitzpatrick was able to get a hard kill against Albright after an assist from Alexa Castle. And those are our Sports Now Top Plays of the Week. Remember, for more information on all of the Wilkes Athletic events, statistics, and final scores, go to GoWilksU.com. Now, let's take a look at this week's Wilkes Athletes of the Week. This week, it's Will Wagstaff from the soccer team and Nicole Fitzpatrick from the volleyball team. You can read more about our Athletes of the Week and other athletics updates in this week's issue of The Beacon. Find a copy here on campus or visit www.thewilksbeacon.com. That is all we have this week for Sports Now. I'm Chris Gawardy. And I'm Bailey Gatiss. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Amber.